Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Sorry for the delay in putting out videos. We're just gonna get right into this one. This is a very niche video. If you have a Garmin 430 like we have, or a Garmin 430W, which is WAS enabled, I'm pretty sure all of our all of our aircraft have 430s, but not all of our aircraft are WAS enabled aircraft. It requires different antennas and different wiring, I think, but it's the same GPS unit. But if you swap out your GPS unit in a WAS enabled aircraft, there's specific settings that you need to select, but you cannot find them when you go into the configuration page. So we're going to go over how to do that and just a quick overview of everything. All right. So not, not crazy, but it took me a very long time to figure out the correct answers for this. And like I said, I think we only have like three, maybe four of our EC 135s are WAS enabled. So you're not going to have very much help out there because none of the other guys will know what you're even talking about when you say the word WAS. All right, so let's jump into it. All right, what is WAS? Oh, I don't know. Simple Google search. WAS, W-A-A-S. That acronym stands for Wide Area Augmentation System. And what does Google AI say? Basically, it's a system of satellites and ground stations that provide GPS signal corrections giving you an even better position accuracy. And that has to do with general relativity and the speed of light. And that's really complicated. And to be honest, this is not my area. I am not an avionics guy at all. What does WAS GPS help you with? What's, what's the benefit of that? Well, it gives you an LPV approach. LPV meaning localizer performance with vertical guidance. It means it's your GPS, which is giving you guidance just like a localizer, which is crazy. Anyway, if you could read more, Google it, not really my jam. Okay, so we're just gonna go over how to install this and what to do. So if you swap out your GPS, this is specifically is a, G, a GNS 430 or 430W. So a, after you put the new one in, well look, before you take the old one out, you need to go to the configuration setting. You hold down the enter button, we'll go over that anyway. We'll go to the configuration pages, go to all the pages, there's 16 or 17. Take a picture of every screen so that you could program in on the new one what the old one used to be. That's the easiest way, all right? That's the poor man's way of doing it. That's what I'm that's what I'm doing. So you go through all these pages, make sure they match. Take pictures of every page before you take this thing out. How do you go to the configuration page? Well, you power up your avionics, you hold the enter button down while the Garmin is powering up, you hold it down for a while. Hold it down for a while until like it's it's i mean seriously like 30 seconds or whatever usually you don't hold it down long enough once it comes to the screen that looks like it normally boots up to hit the enter button twice and then this brings you to the number one configuration page and this is the page that we're dealing with this is the setting that we need to change for the was enabled aircraft i mean you're going to need to change you're going to need to configure your, G your gps if you put a new one in anyway but if you have a WAS enabled helicopter and you need to switch this one specific setting, it's on this page, the first page, the main Air Inc. 429 configuration page. The third thing down is the 429 output. And when you're supposed to set that to Gamma 429 Sextant ET, but if you go scroll through all the options, ET isn't there. It's just Gamma 429 Sextant and your air, your helicopter is not going to navigate the way it's supposed to. It's not correct. So how do you get to the correct setting? Well, after talking to a ton of people and finally calling Garmin and going up three levels into the support of Garmin, you know, because they make watches and stuff, you know, I'm like, hey, man, I need aviation, whatever. Garmin 430 tech support, blah, 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 blah. Long story short. The dude said, oh, yeah, okay, I understand what you're saying. Let me call you back. About an hour later, the dude calls me back, and he's like, this is what you're supposed to do. Press, go to this page here. Make sure no cursors are flashing. Press the direct to button, then the enter button, and then the menu button. And do you see how it changes? Now, once you go on, you go select the cursor, and you go in there, and you um, go to select one of the options, there's two more options there. And the one we need is on the very bottom, Gamma 429 Sextant ET. Once you go through there and you program all of your other pages to what they're supposed to be set to, or you change all the configuration settings to what they're supposed to be, and then you turn the whole thing off, and then you power it back up again, and it should be saved. 
you don't power it back up again in the configuration mode. Well, you can, but well, you can always go back in the configuration mode. It says to power it down and then power it up normally, and that saves your your settings. All right, short video, total total niche video. I don't think there might be five of you guys out there who will actually know what I'm talking about because I didn't know what I was talking. I wouldn't have known what I was talking about honestly before I ran into this problem, and I had to go down some rabbit holes. Took me like a week, literally, which is crazy because it was like a long weekend. No one answered their phone. Anyway, I'm blabbering. Thanks for tuning into the channel, guys. I hope you guys found some value in this video. If you can, don't forget to like and subscribe. Much appreciated. And I'll see you guys next time. Later. A quick disclaimer. I'm not affiliated with any aircraft manufacturers. I make these videos for entertainment, not education. Always refer to the manufacturer's maintenance instructions and not this video or any other videos on this channel. If there is something said in this video that is contrary to the maintenance manual, defer to the maintenance manual. Maintenance manuals are being revised all the time. Check current revisions prior to completing any maintenance on your aircraft. That being said, thank you for watching and let's roll.